It is faith that moves mountains. It is by faith that we please God. This woman had a daughter who was demonized with an unclean spirit, but the woman's faith is what released this little girl and delivered her from an unclean spirit. In the story of the woman, the Syrophoenician woman, we read of an account where Jesus met a woman that had a daughter, a young daughter, and this young daughter was demonized. She was she had an unclean spirit, is what the word of the Lord says. An unclean spirit. This is in the gospel of Mark and in chapter seven, where the girl with the unclean spirit was being demonized and tormented and this mother was desperate to find a solution she was not of jewish descent she was the bible says she was a greek woman syrophoenician woman and she found jesus and she begged jesus to cast this demon out of her daughter um she continued to ask Jesus to to ask to to cast this demon out of her daughter and over and over but Jesus said he basically said no he said you know it is not right for for me to um he, he said to you know basically have the the children take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs the woman didn't stop most people would have just been offended, moved on. This woman didn't stop. She knew that this man had the power to do exactly what it was that she and her daughter needed. So she persisted. She persisted and Jesus saw her faith and was pleased with her faith. So in Mark, and I want to I want to read some of this to you, uh, Mark uh, chapter 7, but starting in verse 27, this is what, this is what uh, Jesus said to her, because she kept asking for this demon to come out of her daughter and for Jesus to deliver her. Jesus said in verse 27, let the children be filled first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she answered, now this was, uh, this statement could have been looked at as very rude and very uh, condescending and uh, demeaning, but she didn't take it like that. She answered him and she said, yes, Lord, even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. Faith, faith, it pleases God, faith moves mountains. And then he said to her, for this saying, because you said this, because you didn't quit, because you didn't get offended at the enemy's setup, because you didn't take the bait. He says, for "For this saying, go your way. The demon has gone out of your daughter. He's saying, because you said what you said, yes, but even the crumbs that fall from the table, the dogs, the little dogs eat. Because you had this type of tenacious faith, go because your daughter is healed. Amen? Powerful. What does that tell you and I? That tells us that when it seems impossible, when you feel like your back is up against the wall, when it looks in the natural completely impossible, keep on having the faith of God and the faith of in God because he sees faith and he will move when he sees that faith. It pleases him and it moves mountains. And so we read here that in verse 30, when she had gone to her house, she found the demon gone and her daughter lying on the bed. The demon left because the mother had faith. You know, God bless you. Even, we we even can hear this from the story. The daughter was not even present for this deliverance. The mother was present. The daughter wasn't even present. So not only was it this mother that was contending for her daughter, her, her young daughter, not only was it the mother contending, but the daughter wasn't even present. She was at home. And yet Jesus 
there is no there is no barrier there is no limitation of time and location there's no limitation right and the same is true for you so therefore you too as you stand in faith when you're praying for somebody and god has said this is what i want you to pray for this is whom i want you to pray for this is how i want you to pray distance is not a barrier in the spirit your prayers reach even where your feet don't go your prayers reach your prayers are effective as a matter of fact the bible says in the book of james 5 and i believe it's 16 17 in that area that the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man or a woman we add in women the effective uh the effective fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much that just means anyone anyone's prayer right um a believer's prayer um a saint's prayer you're a saint if you're a believer in Christ Jesus, you're considered a saint. You're you are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ because of the finished work of the cross, not because of your works, right? Because our works are like filthy rags, but our acceptance unto him, our acceptance unto Jesus and his finished works, we become righteous, we become justified. So therefore your prayers are effective. Your prayers are your fervent, effectual prayer right? Those prayers, they're effective. God is causing your person, whether the person is in your presence or not, it doesn't really matter. That's one of the really um, things. I, I love that part of that prayer because it shows that, listen, if your kids are out of your home, all right, they've already, they, maybe they're grown and they're out of your home. Keep on keeping on. You keep on standing on faith because this woman, young daughter was at home and the mom was not present. The mom went to go see Jesus. Jesus was in town. The mom heard about it. She's, I got to get to Jesus. I've heard of the miracles he's done. I got to get to Jesus. She goes to Jesus, the Syrophoenician woman. She wasn't even Jewish. She wasn't Jewish. So she was Greek, right? She didn't care. She knew this man carried the power. She went and she says, please heal my daughter. She's filled with this demon spirit, this unclean spirit. She's tormented. And she and she kept on it says she kept on asking so she didn't just go one time and ask she kept on asking jesus and jesus first says no because you're you know basically not of jewish descent and she says yes but even the dogs that eat the crumbs that fall from the table how many of you have pets you know crumbs that fall what do the dogs do they eat the crumbs that fall from the table right they go and they eat the crumbs, right? And so Jesus, you know, she says, yes, I know I'm not of Jewish descent, but even the dogs eat the crumbs. In other words, even the dogs are benefiting from the scraps that fall. That's the kind of faith this woman had. She's like, hey, listen, I'd be even happy with the crumbs that fall from the table. Just pray for my daughter. Just deliver my daughter. That showed faith. The kind of faith that moved the heart of God. Jesus's heart was so moved because of that kind of faith. He said, woman, because of your saying, because of what you just said, go. Your daughter is healed. She's delivered. And she went home and she saw her daughter in the right mind, right there, fully delivered. Amen. Faith moves mountains. We only please God by faith. Faith pleases him. And as a matter of fact, anything that is not of faith is sin. The Bible tells us anything that is not of faith is sin. So how important is it for us to hang on to the faith that God has given us and know that God is faithful. Amen. He is faithful. Amen. Would you like to say good morning, beautiful Abigail Bella? Good morning. So how, how are you today? How's everybody doing? How are you today? Um, Abigail, would you like to, you just heard me say that story about yeah. the woman that had a daughter. She had a little daughter that was, um, she was full of demons. So she was demonized. And um, because the mom had faith and she went to Jesus and then Jesus healed the daughter. Even though the daughter wasn't even present, he healed the daughter, right? Wow, isn't that a powerful story? Mm -hmm. what, what does that tell you, Abigail? Can you tell us, like, what does that tell you? Amen, Charlene. Just keep pressing on and kept pressing in. That's right. What does that tell you? He's doing a miracle in you. That's right, Charlene. Deliverance for our loved ones. That's right. Yes, Brenda, your son will be physically healed, delivered and all. Yes. Keeping on, keeping on.
yes, Connie, not to get offended. There were plenty of opportunities for this woman to get offended. He's like, hey, you know, like, we're, we're, we're basically, I'm here, you know, you know, it's like, he, he was basically calling her, you know, like this, this dog, you know, like crumbs from the table and just, it was, a, it was, it was somewhat of a, um, a comment well it was a comment that definitely could have offended her um but you know the Lord tests our faith he, he tests our faith to see if you're ready for for what he has for you like our faith gets tested all the time but if you pass the tests and don't give in to complaining murmuring or rejection she could have been rejected she could have felt rejected she could have been like wow wow well, if that's the kind of person he is. He just sticks to his own. Wow. Yeah, she could have been rejected and offended. Pass the tests. When you feel like God is not hearing you, first of all, you know that's not the truth. But if you feel like that, and we know we don't go by feelings, but sometimes, you know what? You can't deny it's how you feel. You know, pass the test. Don't allow yourselves to get bogged down in the lies and the deception of the emotional frenzy. Pass the test. Realize that God tests our faith to see if we're ready for these things we say we are. Oh, Lord, I thank you for moving the mountains and stretching the tent pegs. Well, are you ready for that kind of faith? Because it's going to require a higher level in your own life of, of, of standing firm on the word and not falling prey to the enemy's tactics. It's going to require something of you. Are you ready? So we say we're ready, but then when the first opposition comes or the first thing that hurts your heart or whatever, you know, then you're like, you know, and then the proof is in the action, right? So get ready, make yourself ready. This woman had plenty of opportunities to be offended. She didn't allow it. She just continued to press in. It said she kept on asking. She didn't ask Jesus one time. Hey, it didn't work. We'll ask again. We'll be persistent. The Bible says, ask and keep on asking, knock and keep on knocking. The door shall be opened unto you. So you ask for healing and maybe you didn't see the manifestation on the first time that you asked. It doesn't mean that God is not the healer. It doesn't mean that God is not going to heal you. It doesn't mean any of that. It means that you need to keep on being persistent. This woman was persistent. She didn't take no for an answer. Speaking to someone and uh, I was correlating this with, being militant. We must be militant in our walk with the Lord. So in other words, stand firm on the word of God militantly and take what is rightfully yours and don't take no for an answer. And, and it's not like he's saying no. I'm just saying sometimes like the, the silence, people receive it as no. Uh, we need to be militant. She continued to press in and that is the key. That is the key. Yeah, we, we have to, yes, repent if we get offended by those that we actually need to love. And just let God build our faith. Let God build that continual confidence. And I'm telling you, we will have exactly what we believe. We're going to pass the test. That's right, Gina. The enemy is not going to take what you have. Amen. Father, I thank you for, for this online community. I thank you for these amazing people of God. I thank you for this powerful message here today from Mark chapter 7, the Syrophoenician woman um, and, and her daughter her daughter the daughter one of the things that always just really encourages me in this story is is that the daughter that needed the, the healing the deliverance wasn't even present and i know she was a young daughter so chances are she was just you know minor living at home but honestly gosh you know nothing is those are stipulations we put on god yeah but our ours is an adult you know and he's not in the home or whatever these are these are human limitations it doesn't really matter to god like what is that like too much for God, right? Or because he's not a minor and he's not living at home now, it's too much for God, right? No, of course not. Even when you say that, it sounds ridiculous, right? So don't put on these human limitations. Um, but at the same time, we have to remember, okay, it is faith that pleases God. He, th this young girl was not present. Jesus delivered the girl because of the mom's faith. Your faith, there's enough power in your faith to deliver the one that you are believing for. Stand firm, continue to hold on, continue to pray. God is the deliverer and he will do it. We're standing firmly on the faith of God, of Christ. Amen. So Father, I thank you for what you're doing here today. I thank you, Lord God, that yes, 
some are repenting for offenses. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, because you make you make things clear. And whatever it is we need to uh, repent of and ask for forgiveness of, Lord God, will be faithful to do that because we see the devil's um, tactics. And it's uh, so, so easy to get offended. And an offense is just, gosh, you just, you're hurt. You feel hurt by somebody. I mean, how often does that happen? And people don't even wait, oh, I feel hurt with I'm offended. Because they think offended is such high, you know, such a, um, such, there's a lot more to it when you're offended. No, you have different levels of offense, just like you have different levels of unforgiveness. Like you could be, yeah, I don't really want to forgive them or I refuse and I'm angry and I wish them to be, you know, like horrible things, right? Like, well, wow. Like now you're like really, really offended and not forgiving, right? So like there's levels, there are levels, like you can just be slightly offended. You can be really offended, but regardless, you're still offended, right? So the thing is, is that we can easily deal with any level of events in the same way. We just repent. We ask God to search our heart, cleanse our heart, soften our heart. And we pray for the individual. It's done, right? Cast out the demon of, unf of, of offense. It's done, right? Um, so, uh, but yes, recognizing the offense is important. Recognizing that, gee, I'm, I'm hurt. You're offended. So when I have people say, you know, oh, I'm hurt, like, okay, you're offended. No, I'm not offended. I'm just hurt. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing, you know? So, so, um, and typically, because people know they're not supposed to be offended, so they don't want to label it like that, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still an offense. Uh, you know, it'd be better just to uh, identify it as an offense and then to deal with it instead of deny it. I go, no, it's, I'm just hurt. An offense is a stumbling block. An offense is like you're walking and then the sidewalk is raised and you don't see it and you trip. It's a stumbling something that's going to cause you to stumble a, a heart that's offended is a stumbling block right a heart that's hurt can become a stumbling block we don't want a stumbling block in our path so if we're slightly offended it still has the potential of becoming a stumbling block that's why we have to repent of it say wow lord i didn't see that sidewalk slightly raised i was walking lies up but I, there was an offense in my heart just slight it's all it takes to get to trip a sidewalk raised just slightly. It's all it takes to trip, right? A slight offense is all it takes to really stump us and to really put us in a bad place. So regardless of the level of offense, it doesn't matter. It's still an offense. We just, and we just say, Lord, forgive us. And we command any spirit of offense to leave. And then we stand in faith. We stand in faith and we will pass the test. We are going to pass the test. And what's the test? The test of faith. Because whatever it is and whomever it is that you are praying for, we will stand in faith and God is pleased by our faith and he always responds to faith. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we lift up Deborah, legs painful and weak. We lift up Deborah right now. We take authority over the whatever's going on in her legs right now, weakness, pain. We just command it to go right now in the name of Jesus all leg pain nerve pain right now we command that to go we thank you lord god you are the healer jehovah rapha is your name i thank you father god we bless the name of the lord our god we press in we command any demon spirit as well that is tied to all this pain to go in Jesus' name and look at what the lord is doing in your lives all of your lives in the name of jesus thank you father god for cleansing our hearts lord god we decree no matter what um, at least the Lord wants us to have faith. Yeah, no matter what, that's right. Amen and amen. So Lord, we will stand in faith. We believe we stand firm and we will see. We will see the fullness. Charlene, he is healing your back in the name of Jesus. It is the hand of the Lord. Amen. Yes, you're receiving this prayer, Mary, for you and for your family. Swelling in your feet, recent surgery, Lola, to go in the name of Jesus. We are in agreement with you right now. Swelling and pain in your in your foot to go because of the recent surgery. Yes and amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God, that you are the healer. Thank you, Lord God, that you are the healer. You are the one that comes to sit captives free, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Abigail, would you like to share a scripture, maybe the one that you're learning this week about the faithfulness of God? Okay, why don't you go ahead and share it with everybody. The one whose faithfulness, wait. Oh, the one who calls you is faithful, and he will do First Thessalonians 5 24. Excellent. Good job. The one who calls you is faithful, he will do it. It's the one who calls you that is faithful, which is Jesus. The one who calls you is Jesus. He's faithful. 
1 Thessalonians 5, 24. Powerful scripture. It is God who calls us. And he is also faithful. He will do whatever it is that it needs to be done. We stand in the gap. We stand in faith. We stand according to his word. And we know that he who calls us is faithful. And he will certainly do it. Amen? Amen. All right. God bless you all. God bless you. Um, have an amazing day. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. God.